This is N3 Electro Technology. Please remember to subscribe and to support this YouTube channel. We'll be taking a look at the EMF equation in this video. Now this equation is available to us on our formula sheet, so you don't have to memorize it. Now to look at each component in this formula, now E represents the induced EMF, and this is the EMF that is generated by the armature inside our machine. We have two, which is a constant, and small letter P, which represents the number of pole pairs. Z is the total number of armature conductors. N is the speed at which the armature rotates. And flux per pole measured in Weber. And below the line, we have small letter C, which represents the total number of parallel paths inside our armature assembly. Now, if our armature assembly is wave-wound, it means that C will be equal to 2, and that will be a constant. If our armature assembly is lap-wound, it means that the number of parallel paths depends on how many pole pairs there are. So we will say 2 multiplied by the number of pole pairs. Okay, we'll be looking at example 4.1 inside the textbook on page 43. Now, this is a six-pole machine, therefore there are three pairs. It is wave wound, therefore the number of parallel paths is two. The total number of armature conductors is 888. And the speed at which the armature rotates is 1,200 revs per minute. The EMF ger generated by the armature assembly is 305 volts. And the unknown factor is the flux per pole in Weber. So here's our EMF equation, and this is available to us in the formula sheet. And just to remind you, that the armature assembly is made of thin slices of steel sheets and this is to reduce the effects of eddy current. Yeah, we have an armature assembly to illustrate the different slots and the number of conductors per slot. We have to manipulate the equation to get the flux per pole on its own so therefore it's going to be the generated EMF multiplied by 60 multiplied by the number of parallel pods all over 2 times the pole pairs multiplied by the number of armature conductors and the speed at which the armature rotates. So let's substitute all the values in. Our generated EMF is uh, 305 volts and that is our constant 60 multiplied by the number of parallel paths and this is a wave wound machine therefore the number of parallel paths is 2 there's our constant of 2 multiplied by the pole pairs. Now this is a 6 pole machine, therefore there are 3 pairs. And the total number of armature conductors is 888. Multiply by the speed at which the armature rotates. And this gives us a final answer of 5,724 milliweber. Thank you for watching this video.